Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew Nussi, and I am contracted by the Department of Transportation to provide DOT physicals to drivers and have been for several years. Today, what I want to talk about is the specifics of the vision portion of the Department of Transportation physical. And I'm actually at the end going to show you an example of what we do when we test your vision during the DOT physical. All right, so basically there are three components to the vision test when it comes to the Department of Transportation Physical. Let's go through each one by one. So first things first is you must have a field of vision that's at least 80 degrees. So what I typically do is I have the driver, the patient, cover one of their eyes. I put my finger behind their back and I slowly bring it around to the front and when they see it, they say, I can see it. And as long as that's 80, per, 80 degrees, uh, then they pass that component and we do it with both eyes. The second thing that needs to happen is you need to have at least 20-40 vision in both eyes and together. One eye is, if one eye is less than 20-40 vision, you will not then be able to pass. It needs to be in both eyes. And that can be with glasses. Oftentimes we will test with glasses. And to do that, we will use a Snellen chart and we will have you read up to the 20-40 vision line. As long as you get to 20-40 vision in both eyes and together, you're all set and you will pass that component. So that's component number two. Component number three is very simple. The Department of Transportation, the FMCSA, want you to be able to identify the colors on a traffic light, I think for obvious reasons. So we will point to something that is red, we will point to something that is green, and we will point to something that is amber or yellow. As long as you can identify red, green, and yellow, you will pass that component. If you pass all three components of the vision evaluation, then you have passed the vision evaluation. All right, I hope that was helpful. Any questions, please leave those in the comment section below and I will respond to them. And good luck on your taking your DOT physical.